my fellow Italians, and welcome back to Hetifax. And happy Hetalia Day. So, about a year ago, I watched an anime called I Wanna Be the Twin Tail, which is about this guy's obsession with girls with twin tails. And over the years, I have examined the waifu community and noticed that every heterosexual man that worships the 2D waifu tends to have certain traits that they like. But we don't really have a lot of waifus in Hetalia. We have husbandos. Lots and lots of husbandos. So I did a What Your Ship Said About You video. Now it's time for the What Your Hetalia Crush Says About You video. Or for those who have outgrown their anime crushes, What Your Former Hetalia Crush Says About You. I may not have every man on here, but I tried to get in the ones with at least a significant amount of fangirls. I'm not really romantically talented, so it's not going to be as good as with the shipping video, but here you are. Happy Hetalia Day! Here's some man service! Oh, and what your Hetalia crush says about you. Veniciano, you like someone who can make you happy. Someone who's super sweet and can cheer you up instantly and take your mind off of all the sad things in your life. You also like a romantic man who can cook. Or you're just into redheads. Romano. You like a man who is romantic AF. That fiery Italian man who will sweep you off your feet and maybe is just a little bit too protective of you. And cooks for you. You also have a thing for rough men and tend to go for the delinquent type character in most animes. Germany. You like muscles and big buff burly men. Or a man in a military uniform. More importantly, you like muscles, muscles, and lots of muscles. There is also a 50% chance that you are into BDSM. Or just men with whips. Japan. You might be in your weeb phase and are generally attracted to anything that's Japanese because it just fascinates you. Or you are generally attracted to generic anime protagonists. You're probably into J-pop or K-pop. If not, that's probably the type of 3D guy you'd be attracted to. Look it up. Friends. Appearance-wise, you like men with long hair and men that tend to look a little bit more realistic. You're not really too into the whole anime crush thing. You crush on real life celebrities. You probably want a man who can spoil you, treat you like a princess or a prince. Men can have husbandos too. A man that will tell you every day that he loves you. A man that will just sweep you off your feet and is an expert in romance. Who will take you on a perfect date and give you the world. That or you love his long, gorgeous, flowing locks. You also prefer the new animation art compared to the old animation art. China. You like really girly looking men. You're probably bisexual too. Or a lesbian in denial. You just don't know it yet. Canada. You like ranting about how certain things or certain people are underappreciated. You also like quiet, shy guys. You probably also think that Canada is a lot manlier than he actually is. America. You are probably American or British. You like really strong men, but you also want someone who can make you laugh and is in general high energy. There's also another pretty strong chance that you're attracted to muscles. Spain. You like ass. Lots and lots of ass. And your fantasy is for that Spanish-speaking romantic guy to sweep you off your feet with a flower in his mouth and who will take you dancing. You are also like guys who play guitar, and you may also speak Spanish. Portugal. Like with Spain, your fantasy is for a Latin lover to sweep you off your feet. But this time, he has long, gorgeous hair. Ooh, men with ponytails. So sexy. Prussia. You like typical anime boys with strange hair and eye colors. You also like looking at fan art a lot. You're more of a visual person. Korea. You are into K-pop. Russia. You're probably a sub. You think you're the person who can change people. A man being interesting and entertaining, and maybe a little strange, is what you're into. You want that sad, broken boy who you can help and give them the acceptance and love that they always wanted. There is also a chance that you believe in communism and or are a fan of Soviet nostalgia as well. Or you just shitpost communist memes in your free time. England. 
there is an 80% chance that English is your first language and or you live in an English-speaking country. You are probably into One Direction at some point, or some similar British band. If you aren't from England, you really like British guys, especially their accents. And you like guys with unkempt shaggy hair, like my boyfriend sometimes has. Lithuania, you really like anime boys with this hairstyle. And you're into lots of angst and guys with a tragic past. You find scars attractive and or you are attracted to people's backs. The back is the weird body part that you'd find oddly attractive. There is also a 50% chance that you have a fetish for men in maids outfits. Latvia. You're into Shotokan, or you are actually 15. Or you wish you were 15. Or you wish he was older because gosh, he would look so pretty when he's older. Luxembourg. You're probably a gold digger. You like rich guys that dress fancy. Or you like that hairstyle where the bangs cover the eye, like Jin Sun from Bastard. Sealand. I hope you're 12. Otherwise, I'm calling the cops. Bulgaria. You like a man that can make you laugh. You also like meme-worthy anime. Romania. You're into vampires and fantasy novels and stuff. And or you like sharp teeth. You probably would be into Rin Matsuoka from Free. And someday you probably will be into biting. You like to read vampire novels and other fantasy novels. Red may be your favorite color. Poland. You're into your idealized version of Poland that's angsty AF, not the actual character of Poland. You may or may not be Eastern European. Greece. You like muscles. Turkey. You like dilfs. And you're into more realistic looking men. You're not really all that big of a fan of the anime husbando kind of thing. You want a realistic manly man with a beard and muscles and a tan. Switzerland. You find guns attractive. Like actual guns, not just muscles. Well, you like muscles too. You like the idea of your man protecting you at all cost. That or you are helplessly seduced by Romy Park's voice. Denmark. You like characters with spiky hair, like Natsu. Your anime preferences and protagonists are kind of basic. That, or you like men in long coats. You also like a man with confidence. Norway and Iceland. You really like blonde boys. More specifically, stoic blonde boys. There is also a high chance that you are from a Nordic country, but not always. For Iceland, you think it's really cute when anime boys make that pouty face. There is also a chance that you post memes about the Nordics on a daily basis and are addicted to Hitalia crack videos and art. Sweden. Prefer the tall, quiet type. And you don't care that he's gay. He's still pretty. Finland. You don't mind that much if a guy is buff or not. The body is not your priority. As long as he has a cute face and is a sweet guy, you like him. You like a man who's cute but can still kick ass. Hong Kong. You're into that rugged teenage type, kind of that delinquent type. You kind of like bad boys, or guys that attempt to be bad boys. You're probably into high school settings and enjoy high school themed anime. Austria. You like a sophisticated man, a talented man, a well-dressed man, a man with money, a man with lots of money. You want to live in a palace someday. You are searching for someone who is husband material. You don't mess around. Macau or Estonia. You like the Megane character. You know, the smart glasses guy like Kyoya from Oran High School Host Club. You like it when the smart guy in anime does this. Knights Templar. You like anime guys with fluffy hair like Yumoto from Cute High Earth Defense Club. Moldova. FBI, open up! Netherlands. You find smoking attractive. You probably don't smoke, though. You just like the aesthetic. There is a 40% chance that you are Canadian and a 70% chance that you have Dutch heritage. Australia. You're into rugged, adventurous guys. You don't like your men looking like anime characters. You like 3D men more. Or you're Australian. I'll probably do the waifus another day, but I think that's enough man service for today. 
But that was one mark higher on your history test. Thank you for watching Hetifax. Hello, my fellow Italians. Remember when I said I was talking about making a second channel? Well, I'm finally doing it. It's just starting out, so I only have cat videos on there, but soon I will be putting out travel vlogs, videos about international topics, and other interesting things on there. Right now, it's just called The Beautiful World, but I know I need a better name. So, I'm going to be looking for suggestions in the comment section, but until then, keep on studying.